Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pastor Gabby Kudja Wilkes, and I'm coming to you live from Brooklyn today. Happy Election Day. Today is a historic day, an important day. November 3rd is a day that we cannot let pass without making our own history. Let me tell you something, that before coronavirus took over 200,000 people's lives, we already had crises happening in our communities. We already had 700 people a day dying because of poverty. We already had 140 million Americans living at the poverty line or below. We already had nearly 1 million voters who experienced voter suppression because of racism. All of these indicators of how we are doing in America have occurred well before the coronavirus impacted our nation. And now here we are in 2020, having to deal with all of those issues as well as the impacts of a global pandemic. My friends, we are in a crisis moment, but I still believe in the power of prayer. I still believe in the power of a God who sits high and looks low. I still believe that we serve a God who is on the side of the oppressed. And so my friends today, I want to encourage you with one of my favorite scriptures. I turn to this scripture whenever I am looking for a way to encourage myself. Whenever I am fighting for justice and fighting against injustice, to this scripture is found in the gospel of Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and it's a parable that Jesus tells I love it he tells the parable of the persistent widow there is a widow in the Bible who is looking to get her due and she goes up against the Bible says an unjust judge and she continually seeks this judge for justice. Day after day, she continues to seek this judge for justice. And the Bible says that this judge does not fear man or God. However, this woman gets the change that she needs, not because the judge has a change of heart, not because all of a sudden he fears God, not because all of a sudden he fears man, but because he is worn out. The Bible literally says that the judge grants her request West because this woman keeps wearing him out. And so when I think about why we protest, when I think about why we raise our voices, when I think about why we keep showing up, why we keep pushing back, I think about that persistent widow who got not because the judge all of a sudden became someone that feared God or feared her, but because the judge was tired of having to deal with her. And so y'all on November 3rd, we need to make sure that America is tired of dealing with us. Don't you dare get out of line today. Make sure you vote. Make sure you stand in that line. Make sure you are persistent. If, you're, if your right to vote has been taken from you because of uh, maybe you are a returning citizen, maybe some other thing has happened in your life life where you can't vote, make sure you tap somebody to vote in your place, somebody who is going to stay at home. Let them know you need them to vote for you because y'all, we are in the fight of our lives. Many of you probably know this, but folks are indicating that we may not know by tonight who will win the election. Folks are indicating that after the results come in, there may be violence, there may be uprising in the land but I still believe in the power of prayer. I still believe in a God who can cover us. I still believe in a God who can keep us. And so don't you let all those things keep you from coming out today. We need your voice. Do you know that if all of us who bring our voices together vote, that we can change this thing around? Do you know that those who are already dying of issues of poverty, if you can raise your voice today, we can start to begin to change some systems. Uh, before we go and I want you to know that I am praying with you in New York City we are all praying together and we are believing God for change so let me leave you with a prayer in the spirit of that persistent widow of Luke chapter 4 God we ask that you would give us the endurance that we need to fight on give us the persistence that we need to stay in line and vote give us the willingness to do what we must 
to vote for those who cannot, to use our voices for those who cannot. God, we pray your protection over this nation, Lord God. We don't know what's going to happen tonight. We don't know what's going to happen this week. But God, we know you are yet able to keep us, to preserve us, to protect us. Let no one lose their lives tonight. Let no unnecessary blood be shed tonight, regardless of how things fall. God, protect us and keep us. And God, we need you to turn this thing around. We believe it and we will be as persistent as the widow that you named in Luke chapter 4. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Stay persistent. Stay in line. Stay encouraged.